Okay, this is the electric meter. It's on the east side of the garage and it should have been sealed on the tops and sides to help prevent moisture from getting into the structure. The grounding rod, we only have a single ground. That's the way we built them back in the day. And the grounding rod is eight feet long and it's supposed to be buried eight feet. That's supposed to be buried all the way into the ground. It's not supposed to be buried seven foot eight inches, seven foot ten inches. Now you probably have enough resistance. The electrician could probably measure that and tell you that you're fine, but I don't know that. I just know that the grounding rod is sticking up. So there's that. I know that when I had my meter replaced, my service drop replaced, that my electrician left the grounding rod up like that, and the code inspector came out and they measured it together and they found that it had enough resistance and it satisfied everybody and it's still sticking up but I don't know that story I, I, I don't know if that happened here or not I don't know anything about that okay, inside the garage east wall this is the electric service panel okay this is a Cruz Heinz breaker box load center service panel call it what you will Cruz Heinz these are Cruz Heinz breakers now we put a smaller breaker in for the condensing unit when they updated it, which they should have. And that's an Eaton breaker. That might work in here. You may never have a problem with it. That might just be generally considered, you know, in the field acceptable or whatever, but you're not supposed to mix and match circuit breakers. You're not supposed to have Eaton breakers on a Heinz cabinet or a Cutler hammer cabinet or, you know, you don't come in and put a Cutler hammer breaker on a Heinz. No, you don't mix and match. So we've got the mixed circuit breakers right there. All right. Now, these breakers that we're talking about, see how they're labeled? Well, that's fine, but they're supposed to be printed. Like where it says catalog numbers? That's printing. See where it says Cutler Heinz? That's pr Cruz Heinz, excuse me. That's printed. All right. It's not supposed to be handwritten like that. I didn't write that. I didn't make that rule up. There we go. Now, this is L1 and L2 coming in to the cabinet. All right, and so when you have the main neutral coming in, this should be wrapped with white tape. Now, if you don't know that's the main neutral coming into the cabinet, if you can't see that, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that, but it's supposed to be wrapped with white tape. And then over here, this is a 220, it's for your air conditioning system. It's that white hot. If you don't know that's a white hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. But you're supposed to have this wrapped with black tape. It's supposed to be wrapped with black tape. Okay, you're supposed to have the bonding location, and it can be written like that. But the bonding location, I don't see the bonding location in here. When I have a single ground, if this home was in, you know, built today, this home was built today, uh, we would have two grounds, but it wasn't. And but double grounding is a safety issue, it's gonna make the report. And then over here, since this is the main cabinet, the main disconnect, it's okay to put your neutrals and your grounds together. Now, these, these neutrals with the white, they, they carry current continuously. These are emergencies, these are emergencies. So you can double lug these, but you shouldn't double lug these. You should not double lug your neutrals. One wire, one screw. One wire, one screw. Just like over here. One wire, one screw. One wire, one screw. Because these are all continuations of these individual circuits. So we've got double lug neutrals in here, even triple lug in some cases. Now up here on the grounds, it's okay to double lug the grounds, but we've got some in here that are triple lugged. We've got some in here that are triple lugged. So we got double lug neutrals or more and we got triple lug grounds or more so what did we learn we learned that our grounding rods not buried we learned that our meter is not sealed we learned that we've got bundling well, let's talk about bundling here for a moment see this is for l1 and l2 we don't know where it's going to be so it fits in almost every house you can see these other smaller twists right here these other knockouts. These are for these wires. 
Now, even my illustration that's baked into the report is somewhat apologetic, and I hate apologizing and discounting my work. I really do. But it's very common, by the way. Um, you can knock all these out and bring them in, take all the sheetrock out, do all the work, and it's not going to change the selling value of the house. It, true, it would be a little safer, but, you know, in relative terms, not much. Not much. It would be a little safer. You know, it's safer to have this wrapped in black. It's safer to have this wrapped in white. So, you know, over here, this, this, is more, this is more important, I think. So I'm not telling you, I'd never dissuade my client from seeking perfection, but by the way, you know, that's a very common phenomenon that's going to be expensive to fix for a relatively small benefit. If this house isn't going to be worth, it's not going to change the selling price of the house when you sell it yourself. And if someone's going to come in here and say, we just found out we don't have bundling in this house, let's, go. let's pay extra. I mean, that just doesn't happen. So, and again, I hate apologizing for my work. And again, I'm not dissuading you from seeking perfection. Again, that's not right. But it kind of is what it is. So that's what we learned. We learned that we've got bundling. We learned that we've got double lug neutrals and triple lug grounds. We learned that our um, circuit breakers aren't matched. We learned that we're missing some black tape on a hot line and some white tape on a common line. That's, that's what we learned. I kind of got off track there a little bit. I hope I didn't lose you too much. Sealing the meter, grounding rod, bundling, double lug neutrals, triple lug grounds, uh, main neutral not wrapped, single ground, uh, white hot not wrapped with black tape, not wrapped with white tape. 